So I've just decided today I'm going to casually bring back the Black Death in 2022. This bacteria has been hidden for centuries, but unfortunately for me, hygiene and antibiotics might make things difficult. Whether you tell me wash your hands or something? So let's go ahead and modify the genetic code. I actually want to increase the chance of the plague spreading by air. We really just got to make sure Madagascar, Iceland, Greenland don't close all their ports. We have to get rid of every single human being on Earth. We're also going to give our plague a bonus in arid climates. So with that said, maybe we should start in a specific place on Earth. Should I just pick a random country? Country. And honestly, maybe I'm going to do that here. I don't think I've ever played Plague Inc. and started in Australia. If anything deadly was going to come out of any continent, it'd obviously be from here. So I feel like I just accidentally increased the difficulty in this game by like 10. I'm going to have to make sure that we get to every single other continent. Usually I start off in Europe and it's pretty easy to get to most places. But because I'm in Australia, is that going to give more time for Greenland to shut down this naval port? Because that's how we instantly lose the game. So one of the problems with the Black Death is that we start off with certain traits unlocked. And that means the severity and lethality are already pretty high. We're not going to be able to do that old strategy where we just like infect the entire world and then slowly start to make things more lethal before they've even discovered there's a plague in the first place. So immediately right off the bat, we put people into comas. That seems pretty drastic. We also give people fevers um, and then whatever these things do, lymph nodes swollen and inflamed. That does seem like a key part of the Black Death. I feel like we should just start off by putting all of our DNA genetic points into infectivity because unless Australia is fighting a second war against the emus, they're probably going to discover us really fast here. Maybe we can get an alliance with the emus or something. Global banks reported record profits today and announced cheap loans for everyone. Public forgives banks and goes back to shopping. Okay, I was hoping that that would lead to like a recession. I would assume a worldwide recession or depression would make it even easier for me to win this game. Just economically, they might have a more difficult time finding a cure. That was just some random joke though, okay. I don't like the fact that we are starting off in the center of Australia where literally nobody lives. Also, Australia Australia only has 40 million people living in it, or no, maybe not even that. Is it 25 million? I don't know why I did this to myself. Can't be the Black Death without using rats and rodents. We also already have the bubonic plague unlocked in our abilities tree, and we're not going to be able to devolve that. So again, people are going to know exactly what has popped up. They are going to know this has come back from the dead, and people are probably going to freak out more because they've heard like the historical stories. It's not like we're just like causing people to sneeze every like two weeks. It's way easier to win that way in this game. The only positive I can think of here is that we're probably going to get to New Zealand pretty quick. Not that they were like a threat of shutting down anyways. It's more Madagascar, Cuba, and Greenland because they only have naval ports inside of them. Not even an airport. I think it's pretty realistic. The only way to go to Greenland maybe is to like uh, find that platform nine and three quarters. A diagnostic team in Australia has identified a new disease which has been named Black Death. I should have named it Black Death 2. We've had one, yes, but what about sequel? It is quite severe and must be investigated further. No other countries are reporting this is okay, okay. So they literally already found us when uh, I have 12 people infected. 12. All right. I think I need to put literally all my points into in infectivity. Like, we, we have got to get moving. How did they already discover us when there's only 16 people that have it? I guess because this guy died. Can I devolve some stuff? Maybe that would help. Oh, I can't devolve. Okay, yeah, that'd make it too easy. I'm realizing now just how difficult this is about to be. Why did I choose Australia? Australia's the first to instruct doctors to begin research. Oh my, already? Without greater funding, it is expected to take a long time. Well, one thing I can do to maybe negate that slightly is go down this drug resistance path. So this thing's also going to mutate by by itself without me investing any points at all. So now it causes skin lesions, which gives me even more of an incentive to really not put any of my points here and just go purely into transmission or maybe even abilities and basically just kind of hope that it, uh, over time it gets more lethal. I mean, it's already kind of lethal. I mean, we've gotten seven people so far. We just got them. I like that. Got them. Imagine dying to our disease where we're not even like investing in the symptoms. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> Missing woman entered police box with strange uh, man. I really want to get this first bird um, because maybe we'll be able to like fly over to other countries faster. I cannot believe we're still stuck on this continent. Like, where is Australia flying to? How have we not infected Japan? I see, I saw a plane go up there. Okay, let's get some birds to help us out, please. Okay, luckily some time has gone by, but right now the cure ETA is, uh, what is that? May 3rd, 2083. Okay, so if I can just kill everyone within the next 50 years, everything's gonna be all right. I'm sure that's not going to be the case though. Okay, we finally have a boat that landed in China. It's about time. Perfect place to start off. World's most populated country. We'll probably be able to get to India from there very easily. We now have mutated and developed rash symptoms and that is going to make it a lot easier for like the humans to spot. Okay, yeah, China is actually going to be the, mo the focus point. Australia is so like not densely populated. I'm wondering if this game takes that into account. We've actually made it to India as well. I actually really need to hope that the symptoms don't like um, naturally evolve to something like really deadly already. 
already. Like, we need to be kind of slow with this. Should I go ahead and use livestock as well to, I guess we might as well. Notice how this uh, world map is very flat. So we're not going to be able to get to the Americas very easy. I think we're going to have to actually spread all through Europe and then hope we can like get on a boat to America. Control where it goes by evolving transmission traits in the disease. And that's what I'm trying to do. Just give me a second. Give me some more points. Whoa. All right. A lot of things popping up there. It's beginning to spread around the world. Use the world data. Yes, I will use that. Okay, we are we are infecting a lot of countries. I like how Korea is united in this universe. That makes me happy. This is going to be kind of expensive, but you really get... Oh, you know what? I'm going to use birds instead. Yeah, birds makes it way easier. Livestock is probably good for like what? Developed nations or... I'm not sure, but birds birds go everywhere. We can just hit... Oh, look at this boat. Look at this boat. We've made it. Oh, I thought you were going to Cuba. That would have been nice. China's become the first country to try to limit the spread of the Black Death. We also have another boat leaving. I mean, we have so much of China infected. We're going to get everywhere. The only thing I'm worried about is if somehow one of these people start closing their ports. I mean, they probably will begin to close some ports. Dang, almost a quarter or maybe about a fifth are already infected with this. Oh, this graph is actually really useful. So now my infectivity is higher than the severity. Probably want to keep pumping points into that. I'm going to go ahead and just do livestock too. And do we want to do like heat resistance or cold resistance? How are we doing right now? Maybe cold. It's, it's pretty cheap. Oh, you know what? I now just realized it's not going to just randomly evolve into something super deadly until I get one of these. I need to get one of these and then we'll start naturally evolving into like more dangerous symptoms. So I just need to make sure that I hit that at the right time. So they've mutated into paralysis. Okay, we really have that infectivity down now that we have extreme zoonosis. We're using like multiple species, crossing barriers, things like that. Okay, so now it's on the WHO watch list. I'm surprised that it's just now on the WHO watch list. Look how many people we've killed. 200 million and now the WHO's like, wait a second, what's going on here? Okay, good, we've made it to Africa. Now we haven't hit Europe yet. Does that get, whoa, we are really popping up fast. Okay, we're gonna make, make it to Europe. We need to hit the developed countries first to slow down the cure, I wonder. I mean, Korea is literally breaking down. No more society there. I think it's about time I go ahead and unlock some of this stuff. So with that unlocked, we now have access to immune suppression, which eventually could get us to total organ failure. That's what we really want. Maybe I should get both of these. Should I get this too? That's kind of expensive. Hold on. We also have access to more transmission ways. Water or air? Um, we want to do water because like I said, I'm worried about places that um, are surrounded by water. The islands. South Africa is is leading the global cure effort. That's great. We did just make it to Africa too. We can probably get there pretty fast. You're leading the cure efforts. If we can get there, that'd be nice. Also, they have a port directly to South. Oh man, I thought you were going to make a stop by there. The cure is at 7%. It look Oh, it's supposed to finish in a year. Can we? Oh yeah, a, a one year. Oh, we're going to want to slow that down. You guys are going way too fast. Go ahead and get drug resistance and then have it become harder to analyze in the lab. Maybe that's, yeah, decreases future research speed. I think this is what I want. Genetic reshuffle. That's going to slow everything down. Okay, we, we made it to Cuba, which is big news. We've now mutated into inflammation symptoms. Where is that in the tree? Is that, the, is that where we want to go down? See, that lethality is still pretty low. That's kind of a concern. Of course, we don't want the lethality to be too high, so we're, like, killing people too fast. I mean, this is literally two points to get cysts. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. Ugh, I'm trying to figure out what to put my points in. I'm at, I'm at 30 points. I can really increase infectivity if we get air one. I probably also want to unlock this at some point. Surprisingly, Iceland and Greenland, they're, they're not infected, but they haven't closed anything down just yet. And with us entering Cuba for now, and we're in Madagascar, those are the only two worrying points. Okay, Ireland is an island, but I guess it's connected to the British. Okay. We've almost infected half the world, so maybe not putting more into transmission is a good idea. I feel like this is pretty high transmission. I think I'm going to take the risk. Septic plague, whatever. So this does give me access to total organ failure. Then we're going to start taking people out really quick if we get that. That's 29 points. I can get that pretty fast. I'm going to start getting a lot of points right now, but then the points are going to slow uh, way down towards the end of the game. We're popping up all through South America. We are now focused on South Africa, which is good. Okay, hold on. I've got way too much points. Do I get this? Oh man, once I get this, things are going to get crazy. Problem is, severity is still following my infectivity pretty closely. I am over half, but once we take, once we start like oofing people this fast, we're actually going to see transmission slow. Really concerned about that. Also, there's always a chance that it just does it naturally. Maybe I should just focus my efforts on slowing down the cure. It's at 12% and it's still said to be finished in about a year and a half. Maybe I should increase um, infectivity in 
uh, wealthy countries. This is expensive. Yeah, I don't know if I like to spend all my money on that. Okay, getting water too is going to confirm that we are going to get everywhere on Earth. And then I can probably, okay, I think I'm going to get this for now. Then wait for me to get enough points for total organ failure. Grab that whenever I can. And then we're just going to start, boom, oofing people so fast. There's still a lot of countries. We still have to hit all of Russia too. Oh, look, I can already get total organ failure. Oh, if I do that, are they going to close their ports? I kind of want to get here first before we do that. They've mutated uh, to hypertension. That's right. We can always focus on just hoping we naturally mutate. Because we had hypertension down here. I mean, that was really nothing, but whatever, I'll take it. Maybe I should just save my points for now, kind of figure out the situation. The cure's at 20%. The entire world's now focused on a cure. That is a very concerning thought. Please don't close the ports. Please don't close. Oh my goodness. Oh, Canada closed their, their airport. They still have their air, or their naval port. These guys have not done anything yet. We have not made it there. You guys need to get there. I don't want to spend, is there something cheap I can spend to increase infectivity? That's not that cheap. I can probably, you know what would be a good idea? Instead of total organ failure, which is just like something that increases lethality do something that increases all three of them This is also relatively cheap. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so That helps us in all the categories that we really need the cures at 25% We have all of South America hit we're having a problem in developed countries. Oh that plane looks like it's going somewhere uh, that's got to be going to Iceland. Boom. So we've made it to Iceland. Okay, now we just got to get one more and then I will be down to do total organ failure. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. I don't know what to do. I've got so much points. I, I'm, I'm scared about the... Okay, the developed world's now starting to fall. The US and... Uh, the Oh man, okay, I've got a lot of points. I said let's do another genetic reshuffle. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do this. A drug resistance. That's going to specifically help me in the countries that I'm struggling in. Maybe even genetic reshuffle just to slow down the cure. Okay, we've now developed seizures, which is fine. That's just probably going to increase severity, but nothing else. Oh, yeah, that didn't do anything for us. Got 68 points. I've got a good amount of points. I don't know how America is still doing pretty good. Oh, please tell me that boat. Oh, man, I thought that boat was going someplace else. I'm so afraid. We're about to have a classic Plague Inc. ending where we don't get to Greenland. We actually might because death is so... It's actually like we've already destroyed half the world. Maybe there's no one left here. Maybe they've all left. That would be cool. Like Greenland's like, you know what? We're all going to die. Why would we want to be on this terrible frozen island. Let's go enjoy the rest of the world. It's actually a great idea that I did not get total organ failure or else I probably would have lost this game really fast. Sneezing helps a lot with infectivity. It's only nine points. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not super worried about the cure, but I have a lot of points. I'm, maybe I should just throw it at it and maybe cold resistance. I mean, I know I don't know. That'll eventually help us in Iceland or Greenland. We're already in Iceland. That's right. They're saying the cure is cure ETA is in 10 is in like five months, eight months, something like that. Are you guys not even sending boats out? That would be a problem. Oh, oh please. Oh, please. I saw that boat. I I need to go all into transmission at this point. I only have a little bit of points left. I only have 35. I mean, technically, I don't touch the game. We will kind of win, but I don't know if I'm going to get to Greenland. Iceland has executed a group of people with... Oh, okay, they're, they're taking pretty, pretty extreme measures. Technically, wait. Oh, oh no. We, we have zero people infected right now. They executed the people that we needed to infect. Yo, Iceland's crazy. I mean, hey, it goes to show you, you gotta, you know, some anything works in these situations. I'm literally going to lose. Well, I didn't get to Greenland anyways, and they probably just shut down boats this thing this thing's not even closed it should be because canada's ports are closed i think all boats that was the final boat maybe the boat country oh there is actually one boat and there's some planes too oh man look death is about to take out all the infected people and i actually can't increase look at lethality lethality is so low and i can't actually do anything to increase my infectivity anymore it's like too late i can try to devolve some things maybe devolve this which is just gonna slope maybe i'm gonna devolve some stuff i mean that's really the only way we have a chance of winning we, we need like death to stop working so fast i think the cure chances are pretty much over 96 percent of people are dead like uh, we need these people to infect the rest of the blue i just don't see how that would happen and now you keep like naturally evolving now you have coughing which actually probably helps with my uh transmission <gasps> they did it they closed the ports okay now it's confirmed we're not gonna be able to win this i at least want to take out iceland for like um executing those people that i really wanted to stay alive fully sequenced by scientists who have researched say the breakthrough will help the cure um most people are gone why are you even trying anymore i would have gave up a long time ago if i were you guys isn't there a way to like ride um the air or something plane ship transmission maybe i needed to go down this faster Maybe if i didn't start off in australia i could have won this maybe we need to hit these two guys way faster how many people did they execute in that group was it all 69 of these people because i'm just impressed honestly you guys are more brutal than i am oh how wait we've spread to Iceland through direct animal transmission and is now in the human population. I don't know how we did that. Is it is it possible that we still can get here? If that if that's oh no, did you die too fast? Are people still dying too fast? I think they got there and then they you just killed the host. I mean the animals helped us and then it was just the human immune system, that indomitable human spirit, strongest thing in the universe. I and I, I should have known. And now we have no more infected. 
It's all, yep, we've lost. We were so close. That was actually a pretty heartbreaking game. I, I haven't, it's been a while since I've played Plague Inc. like that. Again, starting off in Australia was probably the worst move ever, but I've never done that before and I thought it'd be fun. It took us forever. It took us 200 days to get off the continent or maybe even more. Yeah, like 250 days, 225 days. We finally got to China. Once we got to China, we could really get pretty much everywhere. We actually got to America very quickly. Developed countries were giving us way more problems. We got to Africa, Russia started, we slowly spread and then boom, of course, it was these two. And I think by the time, like a lot of the boats were pretty much stopped. We got to Cuba and Madagascar pretty easily. Of course, New Zealand wasn't going to be a problem. I even devolved those symptoms and we still, like we got to Iceland again and it, this just, I don't know, it croaked the person that we didn't need, that we didn't want that. I guess better luck next time. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I'm stalking you and we'll kidnap you December 27th, 2022. DJ McSkillet. Uh, fat Norwal. Drew's Argentinian $20 grandpa. $20 is a lot, Drew. Wild Bring fan. back Evan Poland Price. Ball. Good old Raya. Isaac Kilgore is dead. Nova Gamer. Bio Bass All 69. Six, Patrick. Fresh. Alex, Robert Anime. Rye. The Scottish Toki. The Polish. The Mexican. The Mexican. And why am I doing this?